Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Valerie, and we're at my home. So today we're going to review a new doorbell camera. This is the XTU J7. It's a battery powered doorbell camera, so you don't need wires. And XTU sent us this to review. So let's open it up. All right. You want me to do it? Yeah. You seem to enjoy that more than I do. Okay. So there's the plastic. I like this part, I get to throw things away. So here it is. So like I mentioned, this is a battery powered uh, doorbell camera. It um, uses 1080p, it's 1080p, so it's high definition. It's got a rechargeable battery. It's got a motion, motion detector, PIR motion sensor in it. And uh, it also has night vision. It's got a 166 degree wide viewing angle, which is pretty good. So you can see a lot of you know, more than just the person straight on. It's got two-way audio communication with your phone, and it supports both local storage and cloud storage. And of oh, course, oh. it works with its own app. Oh, look at all this stuff here. Wait a minute, before we get everything on the table here. Nope. Oh man, look at all this stuff. We don't need that, well, but we do need this, let's see. And then it has a notice on it too, so we'll have to see what that says. Notice. Okay, all right, what do we have? All right, okay. so we've got the doorbell itself. So this looks like it's going to be interesting. Uh, I think it's all integrated. I don't oh, it's think all, it comes oh, out. Oh, it doesn't yeah. come out? I think that's all in here, yeah. I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe it comes off. Oh, you must come off so you can mount it. Yeah, it comes off so you can mount it. Which, oh, oh there, there you go. Okay, you mount this guy up onto the wall, or wherever. And that looks easy. you have the camera itself. And there's no wires in the back, but there is a, a button. I bet you it's a reset button. You want to take off this? Yes, sticker? I want to peel this off before use. Ready? Squish. I love your sound effects. They're really good. So it's got a little bell down here. Got the camera. That is, is that the motion sensor? It's either this motion, well, it must be the motion sensor. Maybe it's also the light. We'll see. I don't know what the deal is. But they got a little hole here. It must be the microphone. Because it is two way talk. And then on the side, there's a charging port and it's a micro USB. So. So you need to recharge it mm -hmm. from time to time. And then we're going to find out. And okay. then it looks like there's the where you put the storage card there. Well, let's see. So this is neat because you can uh, store the videos on the doorbell itself with this little micro SD storage, or you can use their cloud service. And then this is a, the second XTU product that we reviewed, and so we used both of those on the other camera as well. So take a look at here. And then if you look at it, what they have in here is there's a on-off switch. I've never Ooh. seen that on these no, before. Actually, That's yeah. pretty cool. And so then there's a reset, a reset spot, and there's a micro USB card slot. No, it's not micro USB. It's micro SD. Oh, yeah? See, why SD. am I getting all these things wrong? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Too it's many the, acronyms. No, I think it's the gray hair. <laughs> so, yeah, so anyway, but you can put the card in there, which is nice. And they have nice rubber seals to keep it, keep it secure. It's going to be outside. Yeah, because yeah, it'll be outside, right? You, know, you never know. All right. They and, gave us uh, the batteries. Yeah, oh, yeah. They gave well, the that's batteries. not the batteries, right? This is the, must be the batteries for the chime. Yep, here we go. Oh, there so you I'm go. assuming this is the chime, and it takes batteries. So they give us the batteries to go with the chime. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so this is nice that they give you the chime because, um, you know, usually you have a chime in your house when you do the wired ones. Obviously, you're not wired, so you have to have something. So that's nice. They give you a battery powered chime, which means we can put it anywhere in the house. And then again, what's really interesting about XTU is they say they have an unconditional lifetime warranty. It's not something we see very often, so that's impressive. Mm -hmm. And check this out. Not one. Two stickers. Two stickers, right? Oh, well, I better show everyone the stickers. There is the stickers. Because the stickers, I think, the best deterrent. Yeah. And then uh, a user manual. And your own little tiny screwdriver. To... Yes, but what does the white tag say? Screw and tools are under the plastic liner. What does that mean? It means that well, the way this thing was stuck on the little box that they were kind of hiding under the plastic liner. Oh, so when you pull, because okay. uh, I pulled the whole thing out, but if you didn't, that was so you could know that. I thought out. maybe you were going to have to get on your hands and knees to find this when <clears> I put it in. That no, that's little not little what it means. So what do we get in here? We get, uh, let's take it all out. Put that. See if I can't lose anything here. Okay, here we go. Oh man, look at all these things here. I better save the bag. All right, this is a screwdriver with a 
one of those fancy uh, ends on it, not Phillips or flat. And then they give you these screws. All right, and these go with this screwdriver. It's kind of neat because this is, you know, it's hard for someone to walk up with a regular screwdriver to get these out. So this one fits exactly in those screws. And then these screws go in here and they lock the camera into the mount. Because you'll have this screwed in the wall and then you, you got a screw here. Oh look, they get this is to lock it in, but then they give you two because you know what happens with the first one? Mm. You drop it and then you lose it and then you're out of luck. Maybe. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then what else? They give you a, a charging cable, micro USB charging cable. Little sticker. I wonder what that's for. I don't know. We're gonna find out. It's got a little red, little red sticker. It's kind of what? There's what's two of those. I wonder if there's uh, sticky hmm. tape. It looks like some kind of sticky tape. Maybe. Anyway, you should get those cable. two things. Yep. I'm gonna put these in here because I know if I don't, I'm gonna lose them. And here then they give you the mounting kit here. Again, they give you a three just in case you lose one. Well, that's smart. Well, yeah, good. I think that's really. They've done a nice job with this. I, I like when they give you the screwdriver. <laughs> you know, although you have to have the, you know your junk drawer in the kitchen is going to be filled with these little screwdrivers if you do different things. Yeah. That's it. What else? Did we go through all the features? I think we handled all the features. So let's just make sure I got everything. So here we go. Right. So it's got motion sensing, 1080p, a local storage or cloud storage. Um, what about night vision? Did it say it has night yes, vision? Yes, it has night vision. And it has night vision. This is really cool. So. I'm going to go off and install it and uh, give it a run through. And we'll come back and tell you how it works. We installed the doorbell camera, including a micro SD card for local recording, and set up the app, which we will run through shortly. The doorbell camera has a wide angle, 160 degree field of view. You have a choice of SD or HD viewing. We set the resolution to HD. In live view, you can record video or a screenshot to your camera roll and view the album created. Though you have to enable these functions, we did not, as we will be recording motion to the SD card. Intercom lets you talk with the person at the door. Oh, and remember the button on the back of the doorbell? That's the tamper alarm. You can turn the alarm on or off. If you take the doorbell camera off its mount, be sure to turn this off or a loud sound will be heard. This is nice if someone tries to take the doorbell camera. You can set up motion detection here. You can turn it on or off and set the detection sensitivity. And can set human detection on or off by day or night. You can set up a time or times when the motion can trigger an alert. Rotating the phone or click the full screen icon will put the video into full screen landscape mode. Selecting settings, then basic function, lets you set the speaker volume or record a voice message. And selecting recording management, lets you set maximum motion recording to 10, 20, or 30 seconds. You can even subscribe to their cloud recording service here. Let's see how the motion detection works. The recording on the bottom is what the doorbell camera recorded to the SD card. The recording on the top is what the iPhone recorded live. The doorbell camera will alert you day or night if someone approaches, without them pressing the bell. In the day, motion was captured around 12 seconds before the alert happens on the phone, which is plenty enough to capture me before entering the scene. You are limited to 30 seconds at most of motion capture. In the night, motion was captured only 9 seconds before the alert happens. and again around 30 seconds of motion capture. Though it seems to quickly record the next motion event with a minimal timeout between. In this case, only two minutes later. If the doorbell button is pressed, you are notified. Pressing the notification opens the app, and then you can accept the call. It does take a little bit of time to establish the call, but not much different than many other video doorbells. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? So how do I sound in there? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. 
Okay, you sound pretty clear out here. A little bit of a tin sound, but not bad. And if we both talked at the same time, the sound yeah. was bad. And how fast is So if I say one and you say two, one. We did a timing test Three. to see how fast a two-way talk was. Five. Didn't seem too bad. Six. Okay, I think we got in good shape. You can start playback recordings from the SD card several ways. Click Messages on the bottom of the home screen, then select Alarm Messages, and then the camera you want to see. You will get a list of thumbnails of the recordings. You can select by month and date. Clicking on the timestamp will bring up the recording, which will play immediately. You will notice you are in the history view of the camera. You can zoom in on the timeline shown and select clips to play. You can select calendar to pick a different date. Recordings will start playback immediately. Select alert to show the list of recordings. Select the one you want to play. Sometimes, not always, the doorbell camera will make a strange sound. The sound is related to it detecting motion. Note, unless you enable the album function, there is no way to download the captured video. Though you can put the SD card in a computer to play, as the recordings are in MP4 format. Before you mount your doorbell camera, we recommend you install the app and pair up the camera first. This way, you can solve any issues at your convenience. The app is called CloudEdge. Download it from the App Store. If this is your first time, it will walk you through setting up an account. To pair the doorbell camera, click the plus sign in the upper right corner, then select Doorbell. The app then walks you through setup vocally. Please power on the device. Press the bell button and tap next. Basically, Please they have you reset the, the device, device and ask for your Wi-Fi name and password. Finally, you scan a QR code. After it connects to your network, you should see the doorbell camera listed. Here you can change the name. Click Done. That's it. The doorbell camera is installed in the app. You are given the option to use their guided install. You may get a message to install new firmware. We recommend doing it then. Guided Install basically tests the Wi-Fi signal and provides mounting tips. One last item is pairing the chime. You just click the reset button once on the chime and press the doorbell button. You're all set. If you are looking for a nice battery doorbell that records locally to an SD card, this model works well. It does provide good motion detection decent sound and a clear picture. Thank you for watching our review.